confusion earlier, but you gotta see why though. Like it's worth it though. Shout out to Miss Artistry for doing her thing. Um, she so is hard. one of the best PR agents out there. Really, really doing her thing for her clients, and I, I really respect her grind. But we got. Francisco Burgos in the on, building. Am I saying it right? Yeah, Francisco Burgos. Oh, okay, because I, I know it's that Latin thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know Francisco if I got to roll Burgos, my that's in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, you know, Burgos. Know. Yeah, that's how it is in Spanish. It yeah. is, right? Yeah, you got it, you got it. See, yeah. I ain't tripping, I ain't tripping. Yeah. So those that were sleeping under a rock and, and don't know who he is, he is the one of the newest cast members of season five of Power. Uh -huh. Yes, and you did other amazing things yes, as yes, well, definitely, definitely. which we're going to get to. But how did you get Power? Um, I booked Power through uh, my agency, Innovative Artists. So okay. it was... I think it was a, a month, maybe after the, uh, after a month that I finished binge watching the show actually, because my friends were telling me to watch it, and I never, I was like, you nah, never I, watched never, Power? Where the never, hell was never. you? I don't, I don't know what I was. Seriously, doing. that's a unicorn. You're a unicorn because <laughs> everybody watched Power. I know, I know. Everybody was telling me even it was even on. They would post like memes of it on Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff, and I never watched it. And my friends ended up convincing me, and I, I ended up watching it, and I got hooked and like. I finished watching the, the, all the seasons, maybe to four, probably in like maybe three weeks. Exactly. That real, that real. Yeah. So I ended up getting a call from my agency like a month after I finished watching it for the season five. And so you didn't audition for it. You got called no, for no, no. it? I, I did audition for it. But I'm going to say, you bad. That's some bad <laughs> yeah, nah, nah, shit nah. right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so, so they had a, um, sent me an email uh, saying that I had an audition for Power. And when I clicked it and it said in parentheses stars, I was like, wow, this is crazy. I mm -hmm. told my friends, like, y'all don't have to leave, but just know I'm going inside my room and I'm, I'm going to uh, embody this character to the best of my ability. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure that I am able. Not Francisco, I'm going to become able. And then I, it was a next day audition, I think uh, 1245. So it was around 1245 or 1 p.m. in the afternoon. And I had went, did it. I had the auditioners going. I was a character. Three days later, they ended up uh, calling me my agency saying that I booked the role. No call there, back So there was no type of nervousness? Like, yeah, I, I'm not going to lie. I would be nervous. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, was, I, was like, I was like, wow. Like, I, it was even more, I was even more a little nervous because uh, it was a show that I really wanted to be on. So mm -hmm. I was like, I had to get everything right. Yeah. I, have, I have to be a perfectionist. I got to make sure that. Was I, you practicing in the mirror? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I was practicing in my head while I was sleeping, making sure I memorized the lines. I'm like, and I'm, I'm always even doing it with my friends, making sure everything was in place. And then it ended up working out. You know, so I'm since doing. you was going through that, did you have like a support system, like people helping you read your lines, definitely, trying to definitely, remember? Definitely. So definitely. shout those people out, though. I'm, I want to give a shout out to Autumn. She's always there for me. She's okay. Autumn in the fall, yeah. huh? Uh, I want to give, a, I wanna give uh -huh. a shout out to my mother, my sister, and my little brother. He doesn't do the lines with me, but, you know, big shout out to him. Mm -hmm. and everybody that's there for me supporting me, so I appreciate that a lot. Okay, so we seen you in the first episode. Yeah. Is there gonna be more? Can you tell us? Can you, or we have to wait? I can't say that right now. I can't. Oh, but man. but you, hopefully you will see more. You'll see yourself. Now, we a few weeks ago, like three, four weeks ago, we was uh, at the Radio City Music Hall with oh, the 50 Cent. I was there in the building. I was hype. I was probably one of those people you was hearing yelling, <laughs> singing a song, because I was like, "That's how you start a show." We were talking about <laughs> the, the 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 the. You did it like. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, with the orchestra. Yeah. Wasn't the orchestra yeah. ill, though? Yeah. To hear it like that? Oh, my God. That, that was, was like, so sexy, mm -hmm. so classy. Shout out to Star. Shout out to 50 Cent. Right. Shout out to the whole orchestra, the lady who was... She probably wasn't even directing them. Like, like everybody was on their own bounce, yeah. right? I was yelling. You probably heard yeah, me probably saying that. Probably, probably I was yelling. Good. I was like, that's how you got a motherfucking cow. I was yeah, mad hurting it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So that was amazing. And to be part of that, do you feel like you arrived? Like, nigga, I made it. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It was a sense of like, wow. Like it, it, it was the same feeling that I got when I was uh, in the script read for the, uh, for the first episode. I remember I went there and 50 Cent was there. Lorenz Tay, Omari, Michael oh, Rainey. And it wow. was, I was like, wow. Like, I'm actually... 
um, in a room. Did you act like a groupie, though? Not at all. I would have act like a groupie. I would have been true. take my pictures. I would have been photo bombing <laughs> just to be yeah. a... I feel you. I feel you. I was. At that point, Shout I, was, out to I, wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't really thinking like that. I was just like, let me make sure I do my lines. Let me impress, you know, my fucking... Wait a minute. Pastor. So you had, to in, you had to do the audition in front of 50 and all of them? Oh, no, no, no. It was a... Uh, I forgot where, but it was a casting director who cast okay. uh, um, people for the show. Oh, it was right. a lady, if I'm not mistaken. She was there at the scriptory as well, but I actually ended up meeting them at the scriptory for the for the okay. uh, first episode in the big table, and we were all just doing it from page one to mm -hmm. the ending. I forgot what page, but we, we all did it, stood there, and then we all started talking. It was amazing. Like, That's I, crazy. And the funny story is when I went there, my mother wasn't with me, right? So I went there, and I usually like having my mom around. I'm 18, but it's always good, you know, to have that support system yeah. around. Yeah, and nothing like your mother. Ain't nothing mm -hmm. like your mother. Yeah. So I went there, right? And when I had went, it was a big table. Everybody was like, all right. Uh, somebody said, oh, I think Courtney came. She's like, all right, everybody get settled. We're about to do the, the scene. Now, how is Courtney? Courtney is an amazing woman. I would love to meet her one amazing. day. I think she, like she is the one, one of the women of old, because there's so many dope women out there but i think she fits that category Definitely. as somebody you want to inspire to she's so you know boss that she handles her business and i know she raggedy too on the side because you fucking <laughs> yeah, with 50 yeah, so yeah, you yeah. got that raggedy edge with you yeah, yeah, yeah. you know but yeah. you I mean, know how to like, you, know, you, know, you know what i'm saying yeah. but you dope as fuck like yes you know Definitely. Definitely. yeah so what? Um, I didn't really get to speak to her much um, at the script read, but I, she was there directing uh, the episode that I was in, in the scene, and we were talking off camera, and she and I was thanking her for giving me the opportunity of being able to showcase my talent across a, like a great platform. And she was telling me that once she seen me, her and Gary Lennon, they said that when they seen my audition tape, that they already knew that I was a character. No, yeah. they, no callback needed. Like They knew it was for me. That that, was you did an amazing job. Now, since we've been talking, you do seem poised, and you seem like you've been in this game for a minute. You seem like you are not well seasoned. You ain't no Denzel yeah, yet. Yeah, not yet, not yet. But I could see yeah. Denzel in you. I could see you being somebody that we'd be seeing awards for thank you, and thank you, thank you. and stuff like that. So, what have you been doing? Like, how did you get to this part where you that season to get on power? Um, I've been going to a lot of auditions. I, I started acting when I was about four years old, wow. and I feel like it was God. It was a it was a God given talent because my mother was doing extra work at the time to be able to support for her, her kids, and she didn't like leaving us with babysitters. Yeah. So she wanted. I ain't like that either. Yeah. I got four sons, so I know oh, what yeah, that yeah, is. I, I, yeah, I can understand. I'm glad they almost old enough to start watching themselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, I'm waiting for that. That's the mother's yeah. dream. Mm -hmm. you know? So she she always wanted me with her and and any, anywhere she went. So doing extra work was was a, a good platform for for me to come with her because she could watch me and she could get no side money. So it was on life support. We were on the set of life so support. So your mother's a hustler. Yeah, definitely. Oh, <laughs> why, watching you eat, she definitely is. Um, uh, we were there on the uh, set of life support with Queen Latifah, and we they needed kids to be playing in the park and stuff. And they said all. They told all the kids, including me, do not look at the camera and do not look at Queen Latifah. Just act like you're playing. Mm -hmm. We were so young, I was like four. And she, uh, when when the scene had started, all the kids were looking at Queen Latifah in the camera. They were like, Oh my God, look, look! And I was the only one actually listening. I took I took all that knowledge that they gave me and in in, um, everything that they told me, and I actually did it. I wasn't looking. I was playing in the swings, all that stuff. And I'm guessing when the scene was over and the day had wrapped up, and when we were on our way home. Going, taking the train, we seen Queen Latifah and like, like in the skies and glasses and about to take a black SUV to wherever she was going. And she said, hey, you. And my mom was like, oh, hey, how's it going? She's like, I just want to tell you, your son did great and you should put him into acting. And they had a little conversation. I don't remember everything, but she had to say, she, you should really put him into acting. My mom was like, really? She was conducting business. She was yeah. whispering to the side, yeah, like yeah, how she was supposed to do. Uh-huh, uh -huh. yes. And then and when that, ever since that day, my mom just went hard. She was like, it took for Queen Latifah to see me doing that. I, and my mom doing extra work and, and to take me with her, that, that became a, a reality and that's something that I'm passionate about. I and y'all became, y'all helped her too. It was all the way because y'all probably became her inspiration as well. She has a son that's good yeah, enough I mean, and she has the personality enough to even talk to Queen yes, yes. because not a lot of uh, mothers out there looking for their kids to have modeling or acting or not whatever all, get those all. opportunities like that, mm -hmm. like off the rip. So, you you have. Is there any like major projects that you did or other projects that you did before, yeah, yeah. prior to um, um, Power? Prior to Power, I worked on an 
independent film, which I was a lead in with Rosario Dawson, okay. uh, Lou Taylor Pucci. Uh, what else was there? There was, there was a couple more actors. Uh, Paul Dano as well. And the director was Mark Webber. It was called uh, Explicit Ills. And it was basically a boy who had asthma, and it was, it was just showing the tough times and, and how a childhood can go in it, and people growing up in Philadelphia and how it is over there. Okay. Drugs, love, violence, and all that stuff. It, it, was a, it was a good message and a good film. And I did that when I was eight years old. So think about that. And it, it, I didn't have no teeth when I auditioned. And my two front teeth were gone. I had no hair. And when I, did the, when I went in the audition room and did it with the director, he said, is your mom out there? And I was like, yeah, she is. I was so young. And she was like, can you bring her in? I said, my mom, come in. He's like, I think your son is fit for this role. And I would love him to play the role of Babel. And that was amazing. Bebo. I know somebody named Bebo. Bebo? Yeah. Yeah, Bebo, yeah. So yeah. it was amazing being able to work alongside Rosario Dawson. She's an amazing actress. Yeah. yeah. So Sin she City. Mother, so. She was in Men in Black. Yes, yes, yes. And there's a lot of the stuff. Movie with Will Smith as well. Yeah. Was, yeah me. So uh, it was amazing. Um, you can also uh, catch me in, I think, August 20th, if I'm not mistaken, in an all-new season of CBS's Elementary. Okay. okay. Starring alongside Lucy Liu, and I forgot the other actor. But so you got that yeah. Jewish connection. That's, That's like, like that, major um, Sherlock Holmes um, remake. There you go. Yeah, it's a uh, yeah. detective, okay. detective Sherlock Holmes kind of thing. It's gonna be a whole different. That's that's amazing. So, like, what kind of movie would you want to be in, though? Like, if you had to pick a movie or a, even Great a question. series, because mm. because you are a series actor, yeah. Power Series, Definitely. CBS series. What's the name of the show again? Uh, Elementary. Elementary. Elementary is gonna be a series. Uh, Do you want to break out into major film? Because not for nothing, a lot of young black actors yeah. are getting roles. Like, shout out to Jamel Howard. He was in the. Ooh, he's in this purge. Yeah. Right now, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to and he was in power. power. He was yeah. brains. You know what I'm saying? Right so, are you ready for that transition? Are you? That's what you looking for? I'm, I'm definitely. I'm definitely ready. I remember. Also, I forgot to put out there. I was in Fighting Glory in the, in the film Fighting Glory. Okay. We filmed in my scene in Washington Heights, okay. and I played like uh, the son of a store owner. And I seen the guy who shot somebody, and I was talking with Edward Norton. Mm -hmm. And that's another film I was in when I was real young, and he gave me so much great constructive criticism, and that was just amazing to hear that coming out of my mouth. Your drive is crazy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Like, I feel, I feel your whole... And you're inspiring me, because yeah, I feel like I need to go harder now. Yeah. Uh, you know? that, that, that's, what I, that's what I love to do, to be able to inspire people, no matter yes. what. It's amazing, because I always tell this to people. It's great that I act and that I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, but it's also, it's also even better when I'm able to give back, give mm -hmm. tips, drop gems, or, or inspire people and let help people, you know, whether it's acting or not, or even giving motivation, and I love that. I love that a lot. Now you've been into acting since you was four, so how was it going to like school and balancing both? Mm. All right, so um, as far as high school, yeah, it was, it was just, I'll get into that a little bit. As far as high school, was, uh, it was fine, but when I was about four years old and going to like, ending up in like middle school maybe, it was crazy because that's when I was going on a lot of roles. My agency was, and my mom was handling everything at that time. Yeah. I, I was too young, so she was getting the emails, making sure she took me to places. So it was crazy. I, I remember there was, there was times where I would have to leave like in the afternoon, 12, instead of three, and to yeah. go to an audition just to do it. And I, and I would do it. But I would make sure I still got my work studies um, right. And it, it was uh, elementary school, so it was easy, so it was, yeah. it was good. But as far as high school, I didn't really have a lot of audition roles because of I fell in. So I went from that kid, who I just saw you, an inspiring kid, mm -hmm. to a, a kid that just went and did some, turned into a knucklehead, basically. When I hit high school, basically in ninth grade, everything just changed. Uh, I fell into the wrong crowd. Um, um, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with smoking weed, but I was smoking weed, and that's all I wanted to do. That's all I wanted to do. That I was in that every day. I said, nah, forget acting. I just want to smoke my weed and play 2K and stay home. I said, even forget school. I was cutting school. You yeah. was on some lazy nigga shit. Lazy, yeah. yeah that's some high school shit for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm, I'm dealing with it because I'm having my son. I have a, my, my son is 15, my oldest yeah. one. Mm -hmm. And I'm start, I'm trying my best. Yes, like, yeah. he about to leave for two weeks. And shout out to Nico. Mm -hmm. And he was here writing songs. Like, I mean, I'm trying to get him to be my photographer because I think he likes chilling with me when we do be yeah. chilling because it do be lit so I'm like I got an idea for something you should just be my cameraman and at least learn the trade right Deuce. yeah of course there's always stuff that you can pick up and learn uh, uh, anything but I be That's pushing him out so I can know what your mother was feeling too oh, that's probably God, yeah. what made her grind even 
stronger. Like, fuck out of here. Yeah, not yeah. my son. Definitely. Yeah, she was I always get on that. my back about it. Uh, she said, stop smoking. We even got a caseworker to make sure to come and drug test me to make sure I was doing myself. Like, it was so Oh, she crazy. was a plane, too. Uh, yeah. like I'll was, just whip my son ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. It, it took for me to... Um, well, when I was going through all that tough, that those tough times, my agency had seen that I wasn't really motivated and, and I didn't have a job like I do now. So they just stopped sending me out. They didn't say they didn't kick me out of the agency. They just forgot about me completely. But they don't didn't. don't think of it as too positive, uh, too negative, because maybe that's what you needed yeah, to be yeah, yeah. versatile in no, what you're doing. Because no. you could play that kid, you could relate to exactly. a kid trying to get out the streets, exactly. and so it might not have been too. You probably mm-hmm. need that because I do at the same time have. I want my son to have that little, I want him to be both street knowledge yeah, and, yeah, yeah. but always pushing the positive out yeah, of it yeah. all, because yeah, yeah. you could get played. Yeah, exactly. You could be naive so out here. He was doing homework while he was bullshitting. Basically, you was doing his homework while he was bullshitting. Me, me, you, like uh, when you was smoking weed, you was doing research, what I'm saying, for like characters no, I'm and saying, shit like that. No, I'm saying, t- even if he wasn't doing that, what I'm yeah. saying is him having that experience of fucking up, of living through a hard time, even yeah. though everything else that you lived, you know how to suffer, you yeah. know how to relate Definitely. to people, mm-hmm. you know that you was vulnerable and fucked up at the same time, and you could bring that to a character, you can yeah. relate to That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, yeah. it's a great story to tell, because like I came in here exactly. and told uh, um, so many teens can can be inspired by that that go that go that went my the son like, could exactly mm-hmm. just be like wow like he went from a kid that was chilling on the block for them all day and doing completely nothing to a kid that was on a, a great screen of power and that's mm-hmm. like that's amazing and mm-hmm. you from the Bronx let's let's keep it real how was it oh, like oh, um, sure. growing up in the Bronx growing up in the Bronx it was it was um there was bad times and the good times I mean. I, I love being in the Bronx because of my friends. Uh, going, I'm um, going to school all of the time, hanging out parties. It was just so dope. And I have like a four straight, like four good friends that I'm really close, close with. Like calling my brothers, and we all lived in the same, like around the same hood. And it was just amazing being there. I, I would chill with them all day, play 2K. We were just. It was, it was just fun. You so. sound like my son. He was at the pool today with them now. A word? He be having girls on his neck. I don't uh, like it. You don't like it? Because they wagging it. Yeah, That's why I be trying to get. Yeah. It's a nice girl. Yeah. But mm-hmm. yeah, growing up in the Bronx, it had its hardships and, and, and the good times. I love the Bronx. I will, I will always represent it. I just hate the fact of what it's going through right now. I'm not, I'm not a supporter of it at all. I feel so, like. um, justice for Junior. Yeah, Today is the day where they went to court. Yeah, yeah. And you're from the Bronx, and you're a young kid. How did that like impacted you? Like, you know, it just, it, you... um, it hurt me in a way because my mom was telling me like that could have been me. Like she, she seen that in, in when she seen the kid, she said she seen me. If I was to keep going through that same hardships that I was going through and all that, and follow that path, she said that could have been me. God forbid, but mm-hmm. it. It just hurts a lot knowing that that happened and I'm from, that's my hometown right there. No, but it's not just your hometown. Yeah. Just yesterday, they killed the kid in Brooklyn. Exactly. How do you, and yeah. he was the same age. Exactly. No, he was 16. You were the same age. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So how do you feel about your generation and where it's going? Do you feel like it's like the mumble rap and the lean and, and you know, kids being held accountable? Because let's keep it real. The, Y'all not getting ass whips like how we yeah, got ass whips. Right, so yeah. you think, how do you feel being in this culture? I feel like kids need to be more disciplined and, and just see the bigger picture. I mean, that, that's all it is. Because um, I, mean, I, I usually scroll on Facebook and stuff, and I just see my, my fellow friends just talking about, oh, what club we going tonight tonight? That's all, they, that's all they post. Oh, I'm on the bus. Oh, I had to run, run down on this op or, like, beat this dude up. And all that. I'm like, yo, what? Spreading all this negativity, like with a yeah. positive stuff. That's when I'm when I'm posting stuff. You see, I'm like, uh, how bad do you want? It? I'm po- I'm always posting stuff like, always believe in yourself. Uh, fear can cause more. Fe- fear can cause you to fear more than doubt would. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it, it, I always post motivational stuff, and I'm always making sure what I post is so inspired. And I just feel like people need to get their heads up, especially my demographic. Yes. Yeah. Get on point, you know, like do what you gotta do. All that stuff is understand. People grow. People go through different development developments in their life and, and different stages. But you know, yeah. it's about that time. You know, my friends are like the people that I'm surrounded by. The teenagers. So you know, it's just time to get on. You're not a little kid anymore. You know, so it's. Well, thank you for that, and I hope you do more in making it happen to Definitely. try to wake up the future, right? Yeah, so what's next for you? Um, next, I just 
recently, right now, while I was home on my way here, I got, I can't really say much, but I got booked for a, uh, a feature film. It's an independent film, and it's, it has to do, it's a horror. That's a genre. Okay. So I'm really excited about that. The, I be, like horror. I yeah, like scary movies. It's my first time ever being, like, involved with that. What happened? Okay, yeah, honored. definitely. I'm getting what? honored at the, the Dominican uh, Parade. Oh, sure. Right. Yeah. I need to come out there yeah. with my old body and try to shake something, right? There right. you go, yeah. <laughs> We're going to be lit for, and I know it's in August somewhere, because I used to live in Dykeman. I used to live in Dykeman prior to this. Yeah, you know how it is. Yeah, I was living, I lived in Dykeman for like six years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I remember when the Dykeman Games, Kenny, Kenny is the one who started Dark Dykeman Games, and lit, right? I remember when it wasn't the way it is now. And to watch that whole thing grow. I haven't been there lately, but I was there for the start of that. Like, I was there, you know, when it was like an after school program mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And to mm -hmm. see it manifest and just grow is, is amazing. Shout out to Kenny. Shout out to whole Dykeman. 10th no, no. Ave. My, was, my address was 195 Nagel. So I know how you Dominicans yeah, roll. Yeah. I was oh, little man. there, though. Yes. Yeah. That's yes. Amazing, you know. I'm, I'm really appreciative of it because. They're basically going to honor me and share my story because I'm a kid that came from the Bronx. I want to go, though. Can I go to school? Yeah, It'd yeah, be lit. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I'll bring everything, all the yeah, bells and whistles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ain't no part like a live out party. You already yeah. know, yeah. yeah. But definitely, I'm, that's something I'm proud about. You definitely can come through it. It's going to be crazy. And this is my first time. I've been to the Dominican Parade maybe like twice in my whole life, but this is oh. my first time going there where I'm actually part of it. Yeah. And it's loading and they're you know, honoring me, giving me a flag. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm, I'm going to be the ambassador of the youth. Yes, the, okay. The the whole... do, do me, shout out to your team, because yeah. I know you're not doing this by yourself. No, shout out to all. everybody who yeah. is standing on the burgeros. I'm yeah. saying it right? Yeah. Side yeah. of things. Burgos, I'm proud yeah. of you. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. Well, we're about to wrap up the interviews, but before we leave, is there anything you would like to tell, like the future generations? Like, if you speak heavy about the kids, give them a little... And it's Mandela Day too yeah, today, wanna, so I, bring, I, I get, you got to come say, deep with this, it. I, I want to say this, um, whatever you want to be in life, you can be it. The mind is a, is, is a very, very powerful weapon, and you can manifest whatever you want to do in life. You, as long, if, you can, if you can dream it, and you can believe it, it'll happen. Then you can achieve it, God damn it. That's a fact. You can that's achieve it. That's what I tell everybody. Right? Definitely. If you can see it in your mind... You can hold it in your palm. Just do it. Just like do it. Nike. Exactly. Like they, oh, tell everybody where they can find you. You guys can follow me on Instagram at official Francisco Burgos. Facebook, Francisco Burgos. And Twitter is F Burgos the actor. So that's, those are my social media handles. Did y'all hear that shit, though? You heard everything today was an exclusive interview. Uh -huh. Shout out to my team, Will, well, my engineer. Like, this is this is what I'm talking about. Yes. That's what we need, man. More of this. Definitely more for you. You already know. It's lit. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Francisco Burgos. Thank and you. we up off this. Yeah. <laughs>